So, in this lesson, we will see about the mass contact methods. So, after going through this lesson, you will be in a position to explain the characteristics and functions of mass contact methods. You will be able to define and give the purpose and functions of form journalism, form publications and principles to be followed while writing for form publications, meaning and preparation of leaflet, folders, pamphlets, extension bulletin and wall newspaper. So, in the fast moving world of today, it has become very important for the agencies engaged in improving the standard of contact either directly or indirectly to a large number of people. Mass contact methods are, are all those means of conveying information to a large number of people by single source. These methods are relatively more important at the knowledge level. So, when you want to import knowledge to the clients, these methods are the best methods. Early adopters give importance to these methods. People have expressed different opinions about the extent to which mass media are used and it influences our thoughts and actions. Some of the important methods of mass contact are suitable for extension work or printed matters. It may be newspapers, magazines, bulletins, leaflets, circular letters, posters, etc. Broadcasting media, radio, television, screen projectors, films, video system, live slideshows, powerpoints, etc. Exhibitions and campaigns. So, these uh, media can be used to disseminate the information to impart knowledge. See the characteristics of mass contact methods. So, when we can go in for co mass contact methods to encourage the individual and group thinking on problems of common interest. Number two effective in getting the work from the people. Mass contact help the people to feel satisfaction from success. They promote understanding and create goodwill towards extension work. They influence the people to adopt new methods. Mass contact by using mass contact they add authority to the information. When we use mass contact method they meet the immediate needs of people like control of pest disease etc. Mass media is used to help the individual and group contact. Audience in the mass contact is a mixture of every kind of persons. Communicate information to a large number of persons in the shortest possible time because as you know very well the individual contact methods and group contact methods cannot reach large audience. When extension workers want, uh, desire to reach the large audience then we have to go in for mass contact methods. Next, we will see the functions of mass media. There are four main functions of mass media. Number one, setting the agenda of important discussion topics. The media can have an important influence on what we think and talk about, even though they cannot decide what we must think. For example, the media draw attention to problems faced by the population during a famine and to measure and to the measures taken by the government to overcome these problems. Unfortunately, the media tend to discuss and highlight problems only at the time of crisis. So, what's, what do you mean by farm magazine? Farm magazine and rural radio program can play an important role by stimulating farmers to discuss points with extension agents or opinion leaders, transferring knowledge. So, people get information for decision making from the media either by chance or by looking for it systematically. It is very difficult to obtain specific information from media. On the other hand, many ideas related to fashion and purchase of consumer goods may come by chance from watching entertainment programs. Next, forming and changing opinions. So, mass media play an important role in developing opinions when members of the public do not have strong views about particular issues. It requires less effort to follow someone else's opinions that it does not form one's own, especially when the topic has no special personal significance. Media also have important effects in changing opinions when the positions they advocate differs only slightly from one's own opinion. Opinions expressed in the media are not always anonymous, which makes it very difficult for members of the public 
to make up their minds. This is a limitation. So, mass media also helps to change the behavior to some extent. So, mass media may be used to change patterns of behavior, especially, pat especially where these changes are small and relatively unimportant or where they help us to fulfill an, an existing wish. Important behavioral changes can follow when the media show people how to fulfill their wishes. And what are the advantages, main advantages of mass media? Number one, best media to communicate information to a large number of per persons in a shorter span of time. Second, very useful for publicity where extension work is beginning. Third, these serve the needs of the mixed group. Four, mass media have the imaginative appeal, thus can touch the emotions of the participants. Number five, these are comparatively cheap. Next, wide range of experience can be pooled and made available. Mass contact methods are very useful in getting attention. They are also helpful, helpful in developing interest and in creating desire among the clientele. So, what are the limitations? Coming to the limitations, major limitations, they cannot be used alone. Mass methods will lose their significance if the message is not carefully prepared and used. So, mass contact methods can, cannot be used to solve the individual problems. Handling of the topic becomes difficult because of mixed composition of the audience. And it is difficult to give specific recommendations because it is mass contact is meant for larger audience, not a single individual or a group of individuals. It is difficult to evaluate the results. Next, we will see the definition of journalism. So, journalism is information, it is communication, it is the events of the day distilled into a few words, sounds or pictures, processed by the mechanics of communication to satisfy the human curiosity of a world that is always eager to know what is new. Journalism is basically news, the word derived from journal, the best contents or do jar of the day itself. But journalism may, may also be entertainment and reassurance to satisfy the human fraternity of a world that is always eager to be comforted with the knowledge. What is the scope of journalism? The scope can be discussed in terms of the perspective of mass media of communication as follows. So, men run to and fro for knowledge, men are hungry for the knowledge of past and men seek knowledge for the present. Modern men are voracious newspaper readers and modern men read periodicals. The spoken word is a factor in mass communication. So, next we will see the purpose of journalism. Explorers of journalism have discovered that the media of mass communication have come from one or two, three purposes. They may be to inform, disseminate news and miscellaneous non-news items. They may influence giving the public either a social or commercial message. They may be entertaining, presenting features, fiction, humor, comics and similar matters. So, what are the basic functions of journalism? First function is the news function. The primary function of the press today is to inform. A newspaper be just as author Rob said, factual information of the day's news is the elementary function. Next function is the opinion function. Modern man frequently finds himself in the midst of conflict and confusion. He wants and needs a medium of communication that will help help him to act on the basis of logical arguments, not emotional appeal. Thus, the modern press has to be both a daily teacher and a daily tribune to influence the public, the newspaper. The newspaper may educate, counsel, advise as well as exhort, expose and ex excoriate. For that reason, the editorial is the only means of building public opinion. Entertainment is where you find it. It pops up in human interest stories and news features. It sparkles in bright columns and gay interviews. It smiles through a home, homespun verse and light essays. It bursts out boisterously in the comics, some of which are most uncomic. 
entertaining the public is a business too. Since it is too big a job for the local staff, newspapers rely upon syndicated material. So next we will see the important form publications otherwise known as extension publications. So what is the meaning of form publication? Form publication is a class of publications prepared by the extension agency in printed form containing information related to the improvement of farm and home. So we have various types of form, publica form publications, number 1 leaflet, number 2 folder, number 3 pamphlets, it may run to 12 to 24 pages, number 4 bulletin, number 5 newsletters like example TNAU or Tanumas newsletter, number 6 journal, example Indian Journal of Extension Education, number 7 magazine, example Valarum Bailanme, Pick, Pannai Chedi, all these are examples of extension publications or form publications. Why written communication is very important? We know very well we are dealing with adult farmers, so spoken word is forgotten rapidly. After lapse of time spoken word is seldom remembered. Even while remembering there are many chances for misinterpretation resulting in distortion. It is necessary to recall and remind from time to time. Therefore, one has to refresh, refresh his memory often. For that, the written materials are immensely helpful to go over it once again to get his full meaning. Thus, written communication gives time to think, organize the ideas in a systematic manner. The purpose of written materials to form people is to communicate the facts in such a manner that the attention is attracted to make them understand and remember and finally help them in taking decisions to act. So what are the purpose of this um, extension publications? Number one, to contact or communicate in a shorter time, to communicate valid and relia reliable information, to communicate ideas with clarity without any distortion. Number four, to reduce the transit loss. Number five, to create confidence among communicating about the information received. The communicating here uh, means the receivers of the information. Number six, to increase the credibility of source of information. So these are the purpose of using the journalism. Next we will see the characteristics of written material, how it should be. Punctuality, cl clarity and conciseness should be there in any form journals. The style of writing the uh, journalism is important. Consistency in the information and the interest. The, it should be written in such a way that the readers are interested to read the material. What is the need for the written material? Number one, to get a clear information on the subject and the question. Number two, to provide authentication on the information passed. Number three, to utilize or read frequently whenever it is needed. Number five, against memory loss, it will be helpful. Number five, to keep the information and the documentation across times. Number 6, to benefit future generations. Number 7, easy for retention and recall. So as an extension worker, one should know the requisites of good literature. A good and effective extension literature should be in simple language. It should be written in local dialect, that is local language. It should be cheap, timely and easily available. It should be concise, simple, clear and in short sentences and paragraphs. Well illustrated with pictures and diagrams because you should use a combination of visuals and symbols and pictures for easy understanding. It should be able to provide an idea of the improved practices as compared to the reward. Give full details of when and how to do. It should be of convenient size for use. Not simply dry statements of facts but presented in such a way that it appeals to the readers and encourages them to read and study the material. It should be able to give the months, dates, weights, measures, areas, names of operations etc. in local units and terms because each area, the uh, people belong to each area will have the local name for all the products. So accordingly local dialects and local technology, technology should be used. The written material may be printed, duplicated or mimeographed for use. Printing facilities are not available everywhere, hence duplicating or mimeographing through duplicating machines is very good 
alternative and cheap device to get duplicate prints in large numbers for distribution. So what are the principles to, to be followed while writing? So there are three main aspects in any written communication. First component is selecting the path. So suitable subject matter, first you must select the suitable subject matter for which you plan to teach. So does the subject matter meet a need? Is it timely? Is it of current interest? Does it apply to your area? Is information practical? So the, you should answer all these questions before selecting the subject matter. One should answer all these questions. Readers. You should know who are the readers you want to reach. What are the problems, interest and education levels? Do they have the environment and capacity to, capacity to make use of the information? So any written communication will be obviously used by some readers for whom you propose. So you should know their level. Purpose of publication. What do you want it to teach and accomplish? Do you want to stimulate the interest in a program? Or do you want to influence the people to do something? So the purpose of communication should be clear to the extension workers. This is regard to selection of subject or content. Second component is sift facts. Sift essential facts necessary to give information clearly. S screen out difficult concepts which are beyond reader's experience or undertake understanding. E example, pH value or calorific value, all this terminology need not be given. Make it simple. Next, give layman an appreciation of the subject rather than a detailed explanation. Next, express highlights. Next, don't try to impress the lay reader with all you know. Don't document everything. This is the second component. And the third component is sort facts. First, arrange the facts in logical order. Suppose you are talking, going to talk about the paddy cultivation, you should start from seed treatment, then come to harvest. Next, set out important points in 1, 2, 3 order, step by step. Guide reader with attractive subheads and suitable illustrations and pictures. And very importantly, remember the ABC of journalism. So the ABC of journalism is accuracy, brevity and clarity, which are the fundamentals of any all good writing. Next, adopt the following tips for readability. So for making the readers to understand, to read and understand the things, you should follow the below mentioned tips. Number one. Short sentences. So short sentences clear in meaning. Should be there clear in meaning. Simple in construction. With few proposition phrases and dependent clauses. So average, on an average, 12 to 17 words can be used. Give an idea in each sentence. Next, use simple words. The fem use simple words which are familiar and concrete words. The words which you use should be personal and human interest words. Then what are the advantages of written communication of written communication number one can reach a large number of people quickly and simultaneously. Number two can be read at leisure and kept for future reference. Number three generally people have confidence in the printed page. Number four necessary it can necessary supplement to other teaching methods. Suppose you have some meetings or discussions at the end of the meetings you can just hand over the literature. Information usually should be definite, well organized and readily understood. The extension publication influences adoption of practices at a relatively low cost. They provide scope for recognizing achievements of individuals and groups. It may promote literacy and coming to the limitations of extension publication not suited for illiterate audience. So we cannot give to those audience who cannot read. Number two, frequent revision may be necessary to keep abreast of current research. So whatever information you give should be precise, content and reliable. Impersonal lacks social value of personal contacts and meetings. So these are the disadvantages. Next we will see one of the important uh, form publication or extension publication leaflet. So what is a leaflet? A leaflet is usually a single printed sheet of, sheet of paper of small size which gives preliminary, accurate and specific information relating to a particular topic in a concise manner. So made as and when necessary. 
generally distributed at a free of cost. So let us see the procedure for preparing the leaflet. Number one, planning and writing. Choose a need based suitable subject. There should be only one idea or technique or practice. Collect all relevant and desirable points and select only the most essential items. Catch the readers with important points. Write all the essential points in sequence. Decide about the illustrations and collect suitable photos. Remember the ABC of journalism namely accuracy, brief and clarity of journalism. Decide on letter size, number of colors, number of copies, cost etc. Edit the leaflet meticulously to eliminate the extra words, words, phrases and difficult terms. And coming to the printing part, normally color woven paper is used for printing the leaflet because of its cheaper cost and colorful nature. Leaflets are printed on 5, 5 by 8 inches into 8, 3 by 4 inches size are more attractive. Use eye catching titles and give lively subheads. Use short simple familiar words, short and personal sentences with small paragraphs. Attractiveness can be increased by using different color woven papers or inks. Based on the requirement include relevant pictures, photographs and illustrations etc. in order to help the farmers understanding. Quote the local situations wherever necessary. Give the source for getting further information. These are the uh, things, uh, factors we kept in mind while preparing, before, while preparing. Coming to reviewing, review the leaflet at a later time for improvement. Next important publication is folder. So what is a folder? A folder is a single printed sheet of paper of big size folded once or twice and when it is opened it gives essential information relating to a particular topic in a sequential manner. So we can very well see the difference between a leaflet and folder. Leaflet will be a single page whereas folder may have several pages. So just like a leaflet folder also is made as and when required generally distributed at free of cost. Now we will see the procedure for preparing the folder. So three major steps are involved. Number one planning and writing. So choose a subject which is of urgent need and practically applicable. Number two think out relevant things that you can say about the selected subject. Number three jot down points based on the subject to be written. Number four it should cover a particular topic completely in a sequential manner. Five write in a narrative form. So coming to printing uh, procedure. Folders are printed in a wide range of size and papers. Though they are printed on different papers, 1 is to 1.5 width to length ratio is found to be very attractive. Use eye catching attractive titles and give lively subheads. Use simple familiar words short sentences with smaller paragraphs. So after preparing you have to review the contents. So review the contents of the folder carefully at a later time in order to find out and, and eliminate the shortcomings for further improvement. Another type of form uh, or extension publication is pamphlet. A pamphlet is a booklet usually containing 12 to 24 pages that deals with comprehensive information about either a topic or a number of related topics. It is primarily meant for extension workers, progressive farmers and school teachers or the homemakers. Sometimes a small price may be fixed on important pamphlets. And coming to the procedure of preparing the pamphlet, it should be planned well in advance. Appropriate caption and illustration have to be pre-planned. While arranging the subject matter, there should be a sequence in it. Should be written with small subtitles and preferably in local language. The readers should be facilitated to understand with pictures and illustrations. Reviewing should be done to take up the corrections. Should always carry the serial number, catchy title and the organizations published. Now as a whole we can see the advantages of publications. It can reach a large section of literate people simultaneously. They are the valuable and effective material for use in extension. Can be preserved and used for future reference. They are comparatively cheap. Accurate information and minute deta details can be given. Can be made easy as well as enjoyable to read. 
can be used to maintain or to increase the tempo of work, can be used to continue contact, can be used to enhance the prestige of local leaders and groups, can promote literacy, improves authenticity of the information and the limitations of farm journalism are number one, it is of little use in the area of low literacy, cannot be used in exclusion of other methods, will lose its significance if not carefully prepared and used. Owing to limited funds or facilities, it is not possible to get them printed, printed in large numbers. The distribution of leaflets, folders and pamphlets is a very difficult task as most of the people would like to have a copy even though they may not be used to them. Next uh, extension publication is extension bulletin. A bulletin contains large amount of information. Its primary objective is to give information which the reader can apply to his own local situations. It is a booklet running to more than 20 pages. There are various types of bulletins. Number one, technical bulletin designed primarily to present specific material to those working in specified fields. Popular bulletins, they are used to present materials to people in the field of extension. Next uh, extension uh, publication is posters. Posters are used to attract attention and to create awareness about a particular variety or a technology. It is prepared in A3 chart paper or in double sheets of A4 chart paper. Posters should include only one message in local language with good colorful images and with less number of words. Wall newspapers. Wall newspapers are those which have detailed current information and an illustration. The normal size of the wall newspaper is 12 inches into 18 inches. The letters are bold. Important points discussed for the poster should be taken into consideration for wall newspapers. They are prepared in simple languages, contain a title. Information is presented in bold type along with illustrations. It is intended to paste in conspicuous places where people gather or pass through. The place should have the protection from wind, rain, etc. So from this lesson, we can conclude that mass contact methods or, or, or those means of conveying information to a large number of people by a single source. And farm publication is a class of uh, publications prepared by the extension agency in printed form containing information related to the improvement of farm and home. And we can use the number of farm publications like leaflets, folders, pamphlets, bulletins, newsletters, journals and magazines according to the needs of the situation.